James Williams back with you guys again for another episode of the Sports Minded Preview Show where we preview each of the 32 teams in the NFL for the upcoming season. We did the Baltimore Ravens to start off the series and we will continue with the Raiders from Oakland. Uh, they had a 2 and 14, oh, excuse me, a 4 and 12 record in the 2012 season. Uh, the Raiders have not made the playoffs in the last five years. Um, that may not be surprising to a lot of people. Um, the Raiders have only had two um, eight-win seasons during this five-year period. And also during the five-year period, their other records have contained a, a five, two five-win seasons. And last season, as I mentioned, which was a four-win season, uh, they finished third in the AFC with the Broncos finishing first, I believe. Um, in the AFC West, you had the Chargers of San Diego in second. You had the Charger, the Raiders in third, and then you had the Kansas City Chiefs in fourth. Um, obviously, they had the worst record, which gave them the first round pick. But going back to the Raiders, um, it, I guess you could say that the Raiders are are winning the games they need to be. I get more or less with two of their four wins, uh, half their wins, I guess, um, being uh, divisional wins. Um, so I guess that's something good you can go off of, but I mean, who knows, uh, I, I haven't looked at those two wins, but they're probably against the Chiefs. So, um, with that being said, um, a lot that needs to be done to get this team going again, uh, back to how they were when everyone loved them. Of course, everyone still loves them. They have one of the biggest fan bases, uh, in the NFL. Um, but they did have, they did make some changes and they, they are trying, you gotta give them credit for that. Uh, they use this offseason to bring in some players. They got a new quarterback after getting rid of Carson Palmer, more or less, and bringing in Matt Flynn, um, who was a backup on the Packers, and then this last season, I believe even the season before that, was a backup for this, um, the Seattle Seahawks. I think he was supposed to be the starter at one point, but then Russell, Boy, uh, Russell Wilson got drafted, and we all know what happened there. So Matt Flynn out in Seattle, and I believe it was a trade. He got traded to the Raiders. Um, you also had a few other pickups um, with Rashad Jennings from the Jaguars also coming over. He's a running back. And those are about the two main uh, pickups that they free. I get not. Well, I don't think Matt, Matt Flynn wasn't really a free agent, but, you know, kind of pickups from the offensive side of the ball. As far as defense, you can tell they're really trying to get the defense back to how it used to be. Uh, they went out and got Kevin Burnett. I believe he played for the Chargers at one time, um, but he is a linebacker, and he played last season with the Dolphins. Um, they also went and got Tracy Porter, who was with the Broncos. Um, he he signed. Uh, he was supposed to be number 24. Um, Porter was for this upcoming season. He was supposed to wear the jersey number, number 24. Um, but then the team uh, got another corner to sign with them, and he was actually drafted by the Raiders. And that's Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson, a 16-year veteran corner in the NFL. Um, he's played the last few seasons with the Packers, won a Super Bowl win with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers um, not too long ago, but now he's back with Oakland. And uh, the Raiders the Raiders drafted him back in 1998 in the first round. He was their fourth pick. And with any uh, additions you have during the offseason, of course you are going to have some losses. Not a lot of losses for the Raiders. And they had a few, but not uh, really any kind of big names, I guess you can say. But they did have, I mean, when you have a team that went 4-12, and um, are key losses really key losses? Or maybe they were. it was time for them to leave. Um, you had Richard Seymour, who the Raiders brought in from the Patriots. Um, just kind of see what they can get out of him. I think they had a few uh, productive games or so, but nothing that really stood out. Um... And, you know, obviously they wouldn't have let him go if he was um, that significant to what they were trying to do or what they had from him, were getting from him. Um, another person was Carson Palmer, someone that I think sat out a year with the Bengals, or it, it felt like a year, um, with the Bengals to try and see what would happen. He didn't want to play for the Bengals anymore. And so he goes to the Raiders. <laughs> so he gets traded to the Raiders. Um, you know, I... I personally didn't think, I didn't know who was the bigger loser uh, from that deal when it, just from it happening, because Carson Palmer was kind of older already, um, I believe, you know, he had an uh, injury or surgery that kind of slowed him down as it was when he was still with the Bengals, 
Um, the Raiders weren't really going anywhere anytime soon as it was. So I don't know if Carson Palmer was expecting to win a Super Bowl there. But anyways, for what it was, uh, they had a five-win season and a four-win season over the two years in which he was there. Um, so, I don't know. It was what it was, I guess. But no, no, you can't really take anything from it. Um, I don't know. The Car Carson Palmer is now the starting quarterback for the Arizona Cardinals. Um, maybe he does better there. Anyways, uh, moving on. Um, that's just about it as far as the off-season moves for veteran players. Um, but as I mentioned with the additions um, of, of the two corners in Porter and Woodson, you do have, uh, they did add another corner that I believe will benefit from having those two veterans being signed. And that was the guy that got through the draft in the first round, which was DJ Hayden. Um, I believe he had some sort of, he almost had a career-ending injury. Um, I believe during a practice he got tackled or something. I don't want to. I part of me thinks he like broke a rib or, or something that almost punctured something. But anyways, I believe he. You know, it could have been life threatening or, or even if if at anything at worst um, life threatening. If anything, uh, career ending. Uh, but you know uh he was able to bounce back from it um there was some question marks about him and, and everything i um, involved in that situation when he was going to get drafted leading up to the draft uh the raiders being the raiders uh took a chance on him uh i believe they actually had a later pick or maybe right in the middle um he was supposed to be the first corner take well no he there was they, everyone said D. Milner, I believe, who was a corner. Part of me wants to say he was a safety, but anyways, I think he was the best defensive back to go off the board then. No, actually, was a corner because he's replacing Revis with the Jets. Um, so he was the guy, and then everyone started talking about uh, D.J. Hayden. Anyways, for what it was, the Raiders ended up taking him. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, he, the cornerback is from Houston. Hayden is from Houston. Um, so as I was mentioning, with the veterans now being there, um, he has two players. While he is a first-round pick, and there are always the expectations for the first-round picks to come in right away and play, um, I'm sure that will still be expected for Hay for Hayden. Uh, but when you got players like Woodson and Porter that Hayden can learn from, I think that's a plus as well, and maybe that can uh, help raise the stock and and the future um, for Hayden more than it would already be uh, without those two guys there. Um, and, you know, looking through the rest of the draft, nothing else that really kind of stood out and say that's a guy for their future. But it was kind of interesting for them in the fourth round to take Tyler Wilson, who was a quarterback from Arkansas. Um, the Raiders went with Tyler Wilson. And, you know, that's a, a player that it, for that if Matt, if Matt, I'm sure he's not their long-term guy, but if Matt Flynn doesn't uh, work out going forward um, or even for the season, you know, then they kind of have a guy that they can, throw in there, work with, and that could probably be their franchise guy going forward for the future if all works out with that. Um, just kind of, you know, seeing off what we saw from Russell Wilson, for example, who I believe was a third-round pick and is still able to play and be thrown in there with the uh, other names from that draft class of RG3 and Andrew Luck. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll see where that goes. Um, Tyler Wilson is a quarterback who... Uh, I don't really remember any, I'm assuming he's going to be second string, but I may be wrong. Maybe they have some other veteran guy there that I'm overlooking. But um, my prediction for the Raiders really just, we'll see. I, I really expect the, the trend to continue here where there will just be a bottom team in the AFC West, um, especially with the talent um, that is being put on, to, that is being brought into the teams of um, the rest of the AFC West, the talent that these guys are getting. Um, with the Chargers getting Manti Teo, and, uh, you know, they got a nice guy with DJ Fluker um, from uh, from Alabama through the draft, and some of the other players they were able to acquire. And then you also have uh, some players on the Broncos. Of course, you had Peyton Manning come last year. Um, that alone changed the expectations of the Broncos. And, of course, I mean, didn't they win? They won the AFC West last year, so the expectations only continue to grow for them especially as they continue to bring in pieces. I believe they got Wes Walker, um, so the talent keeps um, building up over there. And then with the Chiefs, as I mentioned, they have the first-round pick, so they bring in Eric Fisher, um, who will be on the offensive line for them. But then they also had Andy Reid come aboard, 
um, after a long, 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 long time coaching with the Eagles, uh, things didn't kind of work out there at the end. So he's now with the Chiefs, um, a nice a breath of fresh air for him and for the Chiefs, where they can both kind of work together now and uh, kind of change things around for both of them. Um, you know, also with some of the young talent they have there, um, it will be nice to see what they can do with uh, Dwayne Bow and uh, everyone else they have there. But, you know, with, and like I said with that, no matter, it seems like for anything the Raiders do, they're always kind of just still a step behind, and I think that's what we'll see once again. Uh, but if the Raiders were to have any success this season, um, it will depend on the health and the play of running back Darren McFadden. Uh, Darren McFadden, I, I know for me, especially last year, I forgot he was even in the league. Two, two, three seasons ago, this guy was talked about as one of the best and complete running backs um, in the NFL at that time. Um, I, you know, he's kind of had some injuries he's been battling through. Um, I think Michael Bush was the backup at one time, but I think he's he's with the Bears now, I believe, unless he's moved on from them, um, which he might have. But anyways, Darren McFadden, if he can come back and be healthy and be the same player he was when he was drafted in those first few years of his career with the Raiders, I think they can have some success. I don't know how much of it can translate still to be enough to move up into the AFC West. Um, but if he could play 90% of the games, I think I think the Raiders can be right there in the mix of the AFC West. So with that being said, the Raiders will continue to be a, a work in progress, especially in the second year with their new coach. Um, and my, my predictions, I, I'm going to go with another 4-12 and season just after looking at their schedule. I, I predict 4-12 and for them once again. 4-12 and last season, 4-12 and this season. Um, you know, it got them to be third in the AFC West last year, but that's when the Chiefs were just all out of whack. They had a lot of stuff going on, but I expect them to move up, and I still expect 4-12 and 12 for the Raiders uh, to be a fourth place finish for them in the AFC West compared to last year's third place finish. So with that being said, I am James Williams for Sports Minded. Follow us on Twitter, sports underscore minded, and check out the website for more content. Um, on the NFL with the getting ready to start up the preseason. I believe we have the Hall of Fame game coming up with the, I don't even know the two teams, whatever. Um, you know, but we do have our first football game coming up. I should know the teams, and I will probably, uh, before that game takes place, find out who those two teams are and have the review on them before, they are, before their game takes place on Sunday. With that being said, don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Check out the website, sportsmindednews.com. Have a great day and enjoy everything that is going on in the sports